uh, the rental inc income that operates as the cash flow does not cover the expenses, assuming they only worked with 10 to 20% of capital. Obviously, if it was an investor who put 50% down, that's a different story. But most investors for pre-construction projects or you're looking anywhere between 10 to 20 percent. In today's video, I'm going to discuss one of the latest trends, as I always do in the market, uh, specifically as it relates to pre-construction condos, wherein people who bought pre-con condos are right now selling it even before it's been officially finished in the form of an assignment. It's happening right now. I'm going to talk about it. Let's get to it. Hello everyone, this is Sam from Remax Realtron Realty Inc. You can find my contact information in the description box. If you have any questions about Toronto Real Estate at general or any inquiries, concerns, please feel free to contact me. Uh, I'm happy to talk to you. As well, as always, it would be much appreciated that if you find this video informative, really do subscribe, comment, rate, and review. And on the flip side of things, if you don't like this video, don't find it informative or you disagree with me, feel free to tell me in the comments why you disagree or what I can do better and dislike, uh, leave a bad review. Anyways, let's get into the latest trend that I want to discuss today. Quickly, you have to know what an assignment is to truly understand this. Now, I made a longer video way back, uh, I guess by my standards way back a year ago. Not a good video, I'll be honest. I'm not happy with the production of it, but it's informative where I explain why and what an assignment is. So go watch that. I can quickly explain right now. So let me quickly explain what assignment is in this video though, uh, as opposed to regular purchase and sale, an assignment is the transaction of the contract. Meaning as a buyer, when you buy a regular property within an assignment, you're not buying a property, you're buying the right to buy a property. Think of it like that. So let's say there's a buyer buys a property There's a six month closing period. In the third month into that six month closing period, he sees that when he bought the property, the market has been so hot that he can offload it, but this hasn't closed yet. It's not truly his materially, but contractually it is his property uh, to come. So he sells the contract. He sells the right to buy to another person for a markup. That's how it works. Go watch my video where I explain in further detail. Uh, but anyways, as I said in that explanation, this does happen when the market is very hot. However, it can also happen when the market is very cold. These types of occurrences, these assignment transactions do not happen uh, in a balanced market, even a mild market either way. Either the market has to be very hot for a commodity or as we're about to discuss today, the market has to be very cold for a commodity for this to occur. And this is where I segue into exactly the topic that a lot of people most likely a large majority of them are investors uh, who purchased condominium units via pre-construction, meaning they signed on the dotted line about three to four years ago. The units are coming due very soon. They have been constructed. They're pretty much done, but the corporation, the condominium corporation has not been registered yet. And in theory, on paper, it is still in the possession of the builder, although the owners can take occupancy. At this stage, they are offloading the pre-construction unit they've purchased as a assignment. Why is this the case? Well, I said a cold market for commodity, the commodity in this case being condominiums. But let me go through it a little bit more in detail for you to truly understand. Four years ago, three years ago, two years ago, even a year ago, the condominium market was very, very hot. I mean, just earlier this year, February of 2020, uh, earlier even and than that, when I worked with a condo owner, we sold his or her property very fast. And obviously that has to do with my skills, but at the same time, the market was very hot for the commodity I had in my hands. But for all the various reasons I've explained on this channel, the more condo market has taken a hit and it will continue to decline. And this is not just for purchase and sale, this is also for the rental amount, meaning investors right now are taking a negative cash flow in. Uh, the rental inc income that operates as the cash flow does not cover the expenses, assuming they only worked with 10 to 20% of capital. Obviously, if it was an investor who put 50% down, that's a different story. But most investors for pre-construction projects, or you're looking anywhere between 10 to 20%. So due to the fact that they bought these units four years ago, assuming a increase in rental rates for landlord, a landlord friendly market, now that is not the case. 
the rental rates are dipping, they are seeing that they cannot recoup their monthly expenses. Maybe they'll barely break even, but most likely they're going to be into the negatives in terms of cash flow. So before the condominiums even comes to the market, gets registered legally and incorporated, where the builder right now is on the deed, but when the deed gets transferred, there's a transfer of deed onto the buyer. Before that occurs, they're looking to assign it to another individual. Meaning, meaning essentially investors are offloading these properties before they even truly come onto the market. Obviously for this to occur, the builder has to give a approval for this and typically in assignment deals, I've done many assignment deals, this does happen but sometimes the builders do get in the way. So truly investors are desperate to offload their pre-con units that they bought four years ago and uh, there are many signs pointing at this Number one is the numerous amount of assignments on the market. Uh, I mean, like I said, this is a sign of a very hot market or cold market. And most often in a more balanced market, there is not many assignments on the market, uh, you know, through the databases I have or my private network with other realtors or, or, or connections. Uh, but now the assignments on the market for condominiums are increasing. Furthermore, these assignments are providing hefty, hefty, very attractive commission amounts for the buying side, uh, the second buyer ostensibly being, for instance, me, uh, many of them are putting a 3% commission for the buying side to further incentivize people to come get these condo units. Uh, I heard somewhere that one of them actually had a 10% commission amount. I can't verify that. I didn't see it from my own eyes, but you know, uh, I still would be shocked if that's actually the case. Uh, but you know, 4% is not even shocking to me, to be honest with you. Uh, so it's the fact that we are seeing so many uh, pre-con units yet to be completed on sale as assignments and uh, hefty, attractive um, commission amounts for the buying side provided by these investors. They don't want this to hit the market. The purchase and sale market is struggling. The rental market is struggling even more. Most of these units are downtown, which exasperates everything. All the struggles associated with the rental condo market and the condo purchase and sale market is general around the GTA, but it's made especially worse in the downtown area where there's so much uh, supply and not enough demand and too many units next to each other on the market. Anyways, that was a quick video, quick by my standards. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, comment, rate, and review my contact information in the description box. Feel free to get in touch if you have any questions. My Gmail, my Instagram, my phone number in terms of my office phone number and my office address. So get in touch. Let's talk if you want. If not, uh, feel free not to get in touch with me and subscribe, comment, rate, and review. Thank you.